Bring me back to the moment. Talk to my buddy Phil Hines from Houston, Texas, where he's an agent with Century 21. And we're going to do some market comparison like we did last week, Margie. Uh-huh. The coolest thing about Phil is he has a background in the finance industry, so he has mad amounts of knowledge on both sides of the deal. Oh. Okay, from, from real estate side and financing side. Yeah. Right? You there, Phil? I am. How hey. you doing, Chris? I'm good, buddy. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Hey, thanks for coming on the show today. Appreciate it. So, you obviously heard me uh, bring you in here. And, and one of the things that we want to talk about specifically, we want to compare our markets. So, our market right now is just so you can get a feel for where we're at. And this is a year-to-date thing. We've sold a total of uh, just over 51,000 properties. The average sales price has been $282,654. Um, our average size year-to-date is 2,105 square feet. And we're seeing an average market time from beginning to sold of 80 days. Okay. So knowing that, what is the average sales price in your area? And you're in Houston, Texas, right? Yeah, we're in Houston, Texas here, and the average sales price here is about two thirty. Okay. Uh, the average marketing time for a listing is probably going to be around twenty one days. Wow. wow. Uh, many many listings are gone the very first day. Crazy. So we're in a really hot market here in Houston. Um, it's slowing down a little bit because we're in that seasonal. Um, time right after the kids get back to school, but sure. uh, we're really in a really strong market here in Houston. Okay, twenty-one days—that's nuts. That's fast. Now, when with your listings selling, are they selling at or above list price? Most of them are um, getting multiple offers that are really, you know, there are okay. homes out there that aren't going to get multiple offers, but a lot of sure. them are getting multiple offers. A lot of them are above list price. Uh, wow. That's not uncommon in our market, um, and I would say, I would say over. 60 or 70 percent of them are getting full list price offers at a minimum that's outstanding so you're basically where our market was a couple of years ago yeah yeah you know yeah and it's yeah. nice and see now we're we our average sales price is better than rhode island and southern massachusetts we learned that last week yeah and our average sale price is obviously better than houston texas well what size are the homes in houston texas yeah, is everything yeah. bigger out there that's like true they say yeah what's your average size of home phil um, well, I'll, I can use my home as a reference. I have okay. a 3,300 square foot house right. and I bought it two years ago for 268,000. Okay. And I'm in a pretty upscale kind of community. We have a, you know, wow. lake. Thirty percent larger. Kind of yeah. Stuff. Yeah. I'd say larger. Yeah. Wow. Look but, at that. But less expensive. Yeah. Talk about deals. Talk about deals. Now Anybody? see why people are going. That's the thing. You want to move to Texas, I got a guy for you. Because, again, this, this show is all about educating, engaging, empowering our, our listeners. But the cool thing about it is I have a referral network database all across the country yeah. with other people I've met in the Real Estate Radio Network. Now, Phil doesn't have a show yet, but he's getting ready to, to launch a show in Texas, right? That's correct. Yeah. That's they, correct. they started out as a financial board. They're going to have a show wrapped around lending. And then Phil decided to get into the real estate market. Oh. Fun. Which is brilliant to me because you do, yeah. as a realtor, having that background of you financing that knowledge. is awesome because yeah. that gives you an added advantage when you deal with with homeowner with home buyers. Because I get questions all the time about financing, and I always defer to my lenders. Well, buyers and yeah. sellers as well. True. You gotta you have to know the difference between you know what they're going to get, what they're going to take home, and all that good stuff. Exactly. So, do you have a website over there in Texas, there, Phil? I do. It's Phil. Uh, it's philheims dot com. Okay, and it's H I M E S, right? Correct. Okay, and then what's the phone number for you there in Texas? It's 832-338-4561. All right, and always we'll have this up on our website, realtalkradiousa.com, so after the show you can you can jump on there, read all about Phil and what he has to uh, offer our listeners, those that want to relocate to the Texas area. Hey, Phil, I want to thank you for being on the show today. It was a privilege uh, having you join us. Uh, again, for all listeners, we'll have all of Phil's information up on the website by the end of the show today. Have a good day, Phil. Thank you, Phil. All right. Thanks a lot, Chris. All right. Thanks for, thanks for stopping by live on the air. <laughs>